My name is uh, David Tomlin and I'm a Canadian painter. What inspires me most is things, uh, things that I witness in creation and witness in nature that seem to move my heart in a certain way and uh, uh, I want to kind of capture that in the paintings that I do. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about painting since I was a very young person was uh, color. I've always been drawn to color and uh, the mixing of colors and uh, colors side by side, which, what brings out one color next to another. I painted on and off uh, all of my life, but most recently in the past 18 to 20 years or so, I've really taken it on as a kind of a second career. I was in education for many years, and, but painting now has become uh, something that I spend a lot of time doing and uh, enjoy doing very, very much. One of the paintings that I've recently done that I'm very, very proud of is one of, uh, of Mother Teresa uh, that I did in France when I visited there this, uh, this summer. And obviously the colors that are in here are not uh, necessarily representative of how she dressed or what she may have looked like, but to me they kind of capture a mood and a feeling for I think the, the compassion and love that she felt for, uh, uh, for young people. And one of her most famous sayings was, uh, we do small things with great love. And so this was that particular quote, and just her with this child had a lot of meaning for me, and so I felt I wanted to capture that in canvas and decided to make it a little different by uh, the range of the different colors that I've used here to uh, represent um, this relationship that you see here in the painting. One of the paintings over here that uh, has special significance for me too is this one here. This is probably one of the most abstract ones that I've done in a while, but what I have done here is uh, I've moved away a little bit from simply uh, using paint on, uh, on a canvas or a surface, but I've added um, some different kinds of materials here. This was from an elm tree uh, that had died in uh, near where I was studying at Halliburton School of Art and Design. And, as you may know, the elm trees are certainly at risk of disappearing in much of North America because of Dutch elm disease. And this grand old elm tree uh, had to be taken down because it was infected and it died. So I decided I wanted to uh, keep as much of the bark as I could and use it and repurpose it in a, uh, in a painting, which is what I did here. And so I uh, uh, simply stapled it here. It was the best way of attaching it to a wood surface. And, um, and then I added, um, you know, the colors around it and so forth. I've also added some modeling paste here, which gives a lot of texture and some 3D effect to the, to the work as well. And one of the things that uh, has more to be is the, uh, the rose window of Notre Dame uh, Cathedral. And you may see that in a number of my paintings as well. Uh, represents the circle of life and the centrality of life and so forth. And that's one of the things that motivates me as a painter is that I think all of creation, there's a spirituality to it. There's a sacredness to us that I like to try and capture. A good example of this is this one behind me here, which um, I call Eden 2. And again, it's a very, very sort of, um, well, it's very organic. First of all, the shapes are very organic. You can see here as well the uh, incorporation of Rose Window of Notre Dame in Paris here as well as part of this very large painting that I did. And of course this crazy use of color which again is not necessarily representational of what but to me it uh, it just makes the whole thing come alive with a shine and a, and a kind of feeling of reverence and respect for, for nature. Some say often ask me whether or not I've had any indigenous influences in my art and uh, I think uh, Certainly that the, uh, some of our, the work of our First Nations artists in terms of how they uh, applied certain techniques. Uh, I think I've adopted some of that in the work that I do, particularly with the heavy lines that I'll use to demarcate different shapes and so forth, and then the shapes within shapes as well, which I like. I've combined the elm bark here to form some of the, the trees that you see here as well, and lots of modeling paste to create this 3D effect. Uh, here as we watch the stream move off into the uh, into the distance here as well. And again, I'm very much drawn to uh, examples of dark versus light, uh, shadows and light in a, in a painting, uh, light illuminating the darkness, that kind of thing. Very, very uh, important to me.